What a wonderful time to be in Retina, no? I, uh, I'm particularly struck by the breadth of clinical data that we've seen today um, and what it means for the patients that we're all striving to help. Um, and so I, I not only want to thank Maureen and the organizer of OIS for this opportunity to speak, but for organizing a time that we can reflect on how much progress we're making, you know, and what a synergy that really represents for all of us. Nanoscope is a dedicated and experienced team. We are pursuing a large unmet opportunity to restore vision in patients blinded by inherited retinal diseases, regardless of mutation, which I think we've seen as a common theme, trying to, to find these big chunks of patients that we can help. Um, and we really believe that we're onto something. We also feel like we have relevance in age-related macular degeneration, and I'll hope to share a little bit about that at the end. To this end, our multi-characteristic option represents a first-in-class and best-in-class solution for these patients, and we're very bullish on that prospect. MCO10 specifically has shown clear phase 2b3 demonstration of meaningful efficacy with a clear path forward to approval. MCO is an AAV package transgene uh, inclusive of a promoter enhancer system that drives expression to bipolar cells. The transgene itself is a combination of multiple light sensitive molecules from nature and that's key to our approach because our experience has been that the individual light sensitive molecules in nature are good at one thing or another and although you can engineer them to be better at the things that they're better at there's often a trade-off still that exists. But if you can combine them into a single platform, which we've tried to do here, you stack the strengths together and prevent or present a much more straightforward benefit to the patient. And that's what we think we've done here. A single intravitreal injection is involved, after which the AAV package payload makes its way to the target bipolar cells, where the fusion protein is expressed turning those bipolar cells into new photoreceptors and restoring meaningful vision to a patient. In summary, MCO is a single intravitreal injection. We do not require high intensity stimulation, which again, you've heard already today has been one of the challenges in prior attempts at uh, optogenetics. We're utilizing cells that are very high in number they're very small, and they represent a very nice sensor if you're going to recreate photoreceptors in a patient that's lost theirs. You can imagine walking into a store and being presented with two cell phone cameras, one that has a one megapixel camera is the ganglion cells, one with a 10 megapixel camera, which is the, the bipolar cells. And we all know what kind of iPhone Apple constantly comes out with, one with a better camera. We've now seen this effect in human patients across three clinical data sets, inclusive of RESTORE, a phase 2b3 randomized double-masked sham controlled trial in advanced RP patients with severe vision loss. This was a 52-week study, and we applied a number of tests to the patients to assess their vision, including visual acuity, as well as shape discrimination and vision guided mobility tests that Nanoscope developed to assess these low vision patients. These are off chart patients that cannot be assessed with the tools that have been approved for Spark. And so some of the tests that we've developed are preparatory to us and meaningful for these patients and their benefits. The most exciting result that we saw in this trial was that there was a mean improvement across treated patients of 0.3 logmar when we assessed visual acuity uh, compared to sham. And this was in a statistically significant manner. Um, and, and we're very pleased to see this in patients. These are patients whose vision only gets worse. We've heard about that from multiple people trying so hard to solve this problem. Um, and, and I can't tell you how delighted we are to see that in patients and see what that means for them in their lives. We're equally excited about our phase two Starlight trial, which is an open label trial in patients with Stargardt macular degeneration that have slightly better seen vision. 
In Restore, we've assessed patients that are off chart, and we're trying to see how much benefit we can get them closer to chart. Here, we're starting with patients that are on chart, and we're measuring tangible improvements in these patients on chart. What we see here is a, a mean improvement in these treated patients of 13 letters ETDRS. And I, I think we should all sit with that and think about what that represents again for a patient that started out where they started out. Where we see things going is that there is now a clear path to approval for MCO10 for advanced retinitis pigmentosa patients. We're very driven behind that goal. We also see that there's a clear path to approval for Stargardt in a similar manner for on-chart patients. And we, our heart in this really is to impact across IRDs. And to that effect, we've advanced a preclinical program for LCA. Specifically for our Stargardt program, we see a positive read through from that to our program in GA, which we hope to get into the clinic in short order. And I'd like to close with this the video. Testing at the, at the center, and then they did the first treatment. And as we were driving, I began to tell her, I see a pin light coming in my eyes, and it's filling everything up with light. Do you see the cars? I can see, I don't see details, but I see the cars and I see the houses. 15, 20 years since I've seen anything like this. And so she was surprised, I was surprised. The following week, I do rock climbing. As I got inside the gym, and the trainer was standing next to me, so as I, get, I got against the wall, and I said, oh my God, she said, what? I said, I can see the holes. I can see the colors of the hole. So she said, boy, you don't see the colors of the hole? I said, I typically don't. I'm feeling, but I don't see them. So she asked, what do you see? I can see red, orange, yellow, green, blue. I can see the colors, and they're vibrant, like real, real vibrant colors that I haven't seen since I was a kid. Thank you for your time.